So, uh, so really fast since actually my audition is not running, so I don't actually know how long we've been going. Like an hour fifteen. Neat. So, the community keeps talking about it, and we had a, a pretty started a pretty nice discussion in the TSI about it, uh, about skill points. Skill points are still a thing, believe it or not. Uh, we've seen multiple threads on the forums talking about like, hey, why should I do feet? Why should I get feet points? Uh, skill points don't matter. Sewer Patriot has a video. Uh, was it Balkan has a video as well? Uh, Orbit. Orbit. Orbit did a video for uh, DPS. Difference between 100 and 200 skill points uh, for DPSing. I did a video. Difference between 100 and 200 plus uh, skill points for uh, support roles. For uh, healing, trolling, and tanking. Okay. And, and, you know, on paper, the stats are there. I mean, they, they show. They do. You know, um, the difference and everything. I mean, I did a stream uh, from... I believe the test server. Yeah, it was on the test server. I showed a stream where using only having 12 skill points as a DPS minus having 144. There's a big difference. Uh, can you get by the game without that many skill points? Yeah. Some but, can. No. Some can. Yeah, some can. <laughs> But you're also putting more strain on the other players to pick up your slack. And you're also being a hindrance to your team. So, uh, and we, I had a question where we have the CR restrictions to go, to queue up into things. How do we have the, the, should we see where if we have the CR relevancy, should we all at the same time have a requirement to how many skill points you need to have going into content. That was the question I proposed. I don't know about skill point minimums for going into content. I wouldn't mind seeing something along the lines of a stat minimum. Okay. For going into that content. So I think Lady Lightning said the same thing when I was talking to her. Yeah, about yeah, I, I saw that too. Um, she she had a really good idea about the uh, the stat uh minimum. So like you know. So, you know, like right now we have, uh, you know, a uh, um, suggested uh, dominance for the raids and everything. So, like, if you want to be able to CC anything in there, you know, you need to have that minimum dominance for tanks and trollers. Um, but seeing something along the lines of something like that for, like, you know, a minimum resto, th this X resto for healers and a minimum X vit for... Uh, you know, for controllers, uh, minimum X vit for, or minimum X uh, precision or or might for uh, DPS is on. I mean, I think that might you know push people towards going after more feats, running more content, you know, playing the game more, and all that. Um, I think that might help. But isn't that just a gear check though? Because when you meet those minimum stat requirements, just with whatever the CR minimum CR is. Well, it's okay, like, if, you know, if, if people were, like, over-geared for the content, they'd probably be able to get into it based off that, yeah. But I'm not even if, being over-geared. Like, I was my, one of my alts, who isn't geared at all, sitting at 114, I've got 4,200 DOM. Right. So, what is the DOM requirement? It's, what, 3,000 or something like that? Yeah, I think it's, what, like, 3,000 for... Well, it was 3,000 for Throne, wasn't it? Yes. Not sure what it yeah, is. I can't remember I can what it is for HH. I can't remember what it is for HH right now. But either way, you would reach that DOM requirement, it seems like, just with gear, whatever the minimum CR is to enter in there. Well, so see, now, if, 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 the, if they, if, if, well, if they complement that, that change, the, you know, a minimum stat requirement change along with something that, uh, um, a friend of mine had the idea of instead of making the gear all about you know increasing all of your stats, make it just about you know your survivability. So if the gear contributed far more towards just your defense and health than it did towards your precision, might fit, resto, dom, what have you. Um, then, you know, the skill points, you know, 
having those skill points to get to that minimum uh, stat would be required. Like Possibly, the, but couldn't you get there with mods? There's possibility of that as well. I mean, not, obviously, you know, it, it would need to be looked at. You know, things would need to be looked at exactly, you know, how things would go along those, how, how you would set that min, what that minimum would need to be for that, for that content. According to what, you know, people can mod and what they can, if they're through skill points and everything. I'm just saying, like, I'm just, I'm just, you know, this is like spitballing ideas and everything, because, I mean, people are, you know, obviously, you know, they want, they want the skill points. I mean, I know you, you, you know, you got 200, what, 32 skill points? 34. 34. I've got 229, you know, I mean, I would like for those skill points to matter something more in the content I'm running, whether it's PvE or PvP, than just, you know, uh, you know, a small bump in... The stats. I mean, it's, there's a, there's there's some people who would rather see the weapon mastery innate the percentage than a flat uh, stat increase. Boost. No, I would too. I would love to see that. But yeah. I think locking people out of content even further just would drive more of a divide. That uh, I don't see like how I don't know. I just think that that wouldn't necessarily work for the overall population or health of the game. Like, in there theory, is... it would be nice, but I, I still think you'd be cutting out part of the population that wouldn't be able to get there and then cut off their progression, basically. Yeah. There needs to be something... I think really the only way to fix skill points now is to have something brand new to spend on skill points. Well, even so, because, and, and, and I remember that's what we all asked for beforehand, before we had the tier three, before we had weapon mastery. It's like, give us something for us to spin skill points on. But we all know how weapon mastery turned out. Not really. I, I, I liked it. I liked yeah. the idea of it, but it killed everything in terms of combos for weapons. All you do is the weapon mastery combo most of the time. You never even bother with everything else in your in your skill tree anymore. Uh, I would well some players. I will I will say maybe some players, in PvP, I don't. but in PvP, absolutely not. Yeah, I mean in PVE, I'm I I I use some. And that's I, why you don't DPS. Yeah. <laughs> well, I well, at the same time DPS shouldn't really be well. Now that we have weapon advanced mechanics, I will say that I look at now we have advanced mechanics. I look at advanced mechanic is for the DPS is for the DPS, and where weapon mastery is for the support roles. That's where I look at the two. And exactly, and, and that's what I'm saying. You're never using a lot of your weapon combos anymore once weapon mastery came out. Again, I will say some players, because I I definitely am not in that norm. Because I, I definitely, as a one-handed player, I use a lot of my one-handed combos. And then when I need to use a power, I will use my short cast uh, combo for weapon mastery. And then do uh, my power so I can get that lower power. Which, that's my only gripe is the buffs with it. It's like, oh yeah, your next power is going to be smaller uses. Like, thanks. That's great for a tank, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, but I mean, and, and, and so, but, and even so, like, most people skip the weapon mastery combos. They skip the combos and just go straight for the stats. And so now, are we wanting folks to have, if we add in a tier four, a tier four slot for stats, like, is that going to make people want to spend or want to gain more skill points then? No. Well, you don't even have enough skill points to fill out all the weapon mastery trees that is it, as it is, so... Yeah. Uh, it would just... It, something would be better would be in, like, the short term would be to change the tier 3 and 8s to a percentage so that those that do have, you know, more skill points get that, I guess, benefit from having more skill points? Yeah, the tier 1. The tier 1 are percentage, aren't they? 
No, the well, yeah. the the, the tier one, as far as the crit damage and crit chance, those are percentage. Yes, yeah, and then but tier two the and tier the three. stat increase, the stat increases for precision and might. Those are a flat, you know, plus nine. Yeah. I think they are. Okay. Down on the Well, I just thought about Soar and Soar's uh, never mind from the testing powers and everything. If they change all those, the tier two and the tier three, the percentage, like, well, there goes there. There goes that math of testing. Like, just blow yeah, it up and can I just out. can I just say something about that? You know, you know, Soar and Penryn and all those guys putting in all that effort to do that testing. On it. First of all, on you know, I would like to thank them personally, publicly. For all the work they've been doing on that stuff, um, and if they are posting results on the forums, don't go in there and try and derail, derail the damn thread with your petty little complaints about how you know that's not how you should you would test it because nobody cares about that and all that. We're trying to get on those guys are doing work to try and get on the same page, get everybody on the same page, the community and the devs. Uh, you know, so that we can all look at things in a similar perspective to help with this power balancing crap that's going on. Which, yeah. I, honest to God, I mean, I wish it was just over with right now. Because I'm so fed up with it. Yeah, um, sore... if, if it was If it wasn't for some power still being so freaking ungodly stupid in PvP, I would just say, screw it, let it go. But, you know, there's... <laughs> Sorry, SJ just replied to the tweet saying, wow. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I have a giggle. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Sora, but yeah, Sora yeah, don't, don't, don't de derail those guys' threads. I mean, come on. And, you know, and, and you know, comparisons of yourself to Michael Jordan, please. Yeah, look at his... <laughs> Look at his baseball career. Please. Talk about that. Please. Please. Please don't. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> don't ever do that again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and have Pendron and Sora on the show soon. <laughs> whenever we can. to uh, So they can talk oh, a little bit further about what's going on with testing and with that. But they've been doing a fantastic job with that. Uh, and, and you can find it over in the Powers Movements section of the forums. It's the G, it's the GU50 Tunzo testing and player testing thread. It's like one of the longest threads out there. It's it, it's it's something else. Really, I really enjoy reading it. But yeah, it definitely did get derailed to to, to nonsense. Because and let me just say now, all the testing that you're seeing from Soar, Pin, Remainder, all those guys, even more, everything that you're seeing from them, it's all based on what how the developers are testing. We don't care about the most optimized thing on test. I, I don't. We during that testing, I don't care. We don't care. They don't care. What we're trying to do is understand how developers are testing. Give feedback based on that, and then we can move into okay. Well, now we did this. This is a better loadout, and this is why. If you have evidence of this, such and such is better. Put your money where your mouth is. Make, show the numbers, make a graph, show the mean, show the average, show your loadouts, do all of it. All of it. Do exactly what Sora and them are doing. Show the results. Showing a, uh, a screenshot of your combat log, that's good, but it's not enough. It's not, it really is not enough to get your point. The reason, and this is actually the same reason I'm not doing testing for powers, because I am not good with math. I, I am not. I, I give it to someone. I send it to Soar. I'll send it to Soar or Pinner. like, here, here's what I did. Here's my loadout. Make it, make it pretty. Just make it pretty. So, uh, but yeah. So, uh, back on the skill points thing. Because, like I said, I was trying to get Soar and Pin on the show. We can talk really in depth on all the Tunzo testing and try and get maybe Tunzo on the show. Hmm? That'll be so cool. Maps, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, so with skill points, I, I mean, I'm still sitting at 123, 124. I think I'm at 123. And, <laughs> and, and I will say that I am, you're reading the thread, aren't you? <laughs> oh 
my god, do I need to read the thread? It's 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 just it's just it's, it's, it's the just best the best post the, ever. Response. Yeah, it's you know it, it's just one of those ones. You know, I mean, it's it, you gotta laugh at it. Oh, freaking edge! <laughs> uh, I gotta get rid of that. Okay, while while I was loading up. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> uh. Well, okay, lock. <laughs> Scarlet oh, Misty! That's that, <laughs> that <tier. laughs> just great! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, gifts are amazing! Alright, alright, uh, Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. <It's... laughs> just, oh. just, read it, just read it out loud. Just just read it. Just... Should, should I read it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll read, I'll read, I'll read. Okay, Locke is responding to somebody's post and all that. I'm not going to read their post. You have to read their post. You have to read it. Oh, I have to read Okay, okay. This 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 individual post is, devs can and will disagree, but this entire exercise doesn't take PvP into account. Every major press set balance done, at least in the last six months, in my opinion, has had an unintended consequences for PvP matches, and I believe it's because the combat interactions of PvP are somehow different than PvE. Something either in the heart of the code base or something in how all the additives, weapon mastery, AM, counter immunities, etc., layered on top of the core have caused a divergence. Changes in PvE somehow create different effects in PvP. That said, the baseline approach is the right one. Focus on the solution that will make PvE and only PvE work the best. Consider every proposed solution, mine included, is solely intended for PvE. PvP will eventually get addressed, just not today. And Locke, res Locke responded with, you are correct, because PvE is a larger part of the game, we have to focus on it for now. PvP will have its allotted time, too. And Scarlet Misty, <laughs> with the ultimate post, uh, <laughs> let me see if I can, there we go, replied <laughs> just with this GIF right here, which I will link in the chat. Right. I'm, post, I'm putting it on screen now. <laughs> With the words, truth, truth hurts. hurts. <laughs> just so great. Fre freaking Dean, man. Just. He's <laughs> 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 just, just, he just, he just like takes a long breath. And he's, he like has that one tear. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Well done, Scarlet Misty. I'm going to like that post right there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me I too. like that. I have to log in to do it, though. But okay, I, I will, too. Jensen, Jensen <laughs> Ackles should be Batman. I will concur with that. I would love to see that. Ben Affleck is going to kill it. He is. Oh, right, my God, just, just, just stop. Ben Affleck How's is... only have one like? <laughs> I don't know how that only has one like. I don't know. <laughs> because it's not in the PvP thread. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Is Meps still here? Meps, I got a question for Meps. How much do you love the Battle of Legends section of the forums? And answer whenever you can. <laughs> He's gonna be like that exists. <laughs> All right. Uh, you were uh, saying no tracks. Uh. So, the one... I want to go around the table. The one suggestion that you feel could, in fact... How what you what how do you think that skill points should come back into the game? What is your one suggestion? And I'll start off with Brittany first. Um, like we talked about before, making the... I call them tier 3 and 8s, but if you call... I don't know if people call them the weapon mastery trees or whatever, but basically the last tier of an eight you can get in each tree. If we, I think a simple fix would be to make those a percentage base and have them. Um, I don't know what the percentage would be to not make it too like overpowered or give you too much of a boost. But I think that would definitely help um, as a short term goal. Uh, honestly, I don't know because. My whole thing with skill points is that they make a huge difference DPS wise, but support role wise, you can literally get away with just having gear and you don't 
necessarily need a ton of skill points, but I think it has a bigger impact on a person as a DPS. But I don't know for the long-term goal. I just think short-term changing those nades to a percentage base would definitely help. But the, also, the other factor is that most things are scaled off of CR now, so uh, it's hard to say. But that would be my short-term suggestion. What about you, Vagrant? Well, it kind of stems off of what Brittany said. Since a lot of things are based off of CR now, I feel to make skill points relevant, we're going to need something new to spend it on. Uh, the only thing I can really think of that can be new, though, is something that maybe particularly affects the powers in our power set directly. Um, you know, like, if we have an extra 10 skill points to spend, it you can spend 10 skill points on making something 10% more effective or something like that. Have your power over time as a controller give 5% more power, something like that, but it costs a relatively large amount of skill points to gain. Something like that would encourage you to go back and get more feats and things like that because you're going to want them. Okay. Soups? Um, yeah, I, I, if you I can think, stop the argument you know, with ticking in chat. Uh, well, I mean, she's just wrong. I mean, that's just like, I don't <laughs> understand that. I don't understand that. It's, She's she's saying things that did not factually happen in that movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I don't like uh, a percentage increase in the weapon mastery gears. Uh, I think this, that would be a lot more beneficial than just the flat base. Um, uh, as far as things to spend more skill points on, I, was, I don't know. It's like, you know, you know, Brittany's at 234, and I'm pretty sure she can't hybrid yet. For a no, because you still can't <laughs> fill out all the weapon mastery. Like, you can't fill yeah. out all the Yeah, uh, but if you had trees. something like what I talked about, you wouldn't necessarily want those things. You'd want the those first. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying we're, not at a, we're not at a point yet where... See, because, like, before, before they introduced weapon mastery... You know that it everybody was getting to the point, and you know that, that I mean everybody that had an excessive amount of skill points was getting to the point where they could start hybriding. You know, for like there's so like you know I could like you know start you know putting in skill points into uh, damage innates and all that for tanking. You know, while I still had all of my tank stuff, um, so. I don't think we're not nearly close enough to that. So, I mean, I, something more to spend those skill points on, I think, is it's, it's going to come eventually. It has to, uh, simply because I mean, you know, we're, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get to that point where you know we're gonna have so many skill points that we may actually be able to start hybriding for uh, into those weapon mastery innates. But um, uh, in in the short term, like Brittany was saying, you know, so you know, I think you know, um, you know, a percentage a percentage increases in those weapon mastery trees instead, um, and uh, I don't know, man, it's just uh, I'm I'm not sure what you know how else to motivate people to actually go out there and play the game more and play older content and grind their feats out. Not so much grind, you know, not the grindy feats. I mean, you know, those feats will come in time, folks. I mean, I know some people out there are so looking at, like, they're looking at 500. I mean, even the Legends PvE feats, which I know Brittany hates, you know, Ugh. you know, you're you're not, you know, you're not running, you know, you're not grinding those feats out. Those will come in time, you know. No, I, they I, won't. I, well, like, I, those are the exception. Those will not come in time. Those will come in like 10 years' time. Like those are the complete. Exception to the feet rule. <laughs> but I mean, but it's like I, mean, I still I still run. I, I you know I've got all my you know PVE feats done for. It's kind of, I still queue up for it once a day. But you're still not going to get there even if you do it once a day. I I know. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, you know, I may I may run you know Ace and Bloodhaven this weekend. You know that I mean Ooh. you know well you know I, I know I'm not looking forward to Bloodhaven. <laughs> <laughs> you are very very right, Jexio. Everyone hates Legends PVE. 
<laughs> I like some. But, uh, no, thank you. I like playing my <laughs> tune. I don't like playing another tune. I like playing my tune and using my powers and seeing my tune. I do not like playing another tune. That's well, see, I'm still so hoping. I'm still so hoping. I'm still so hoping for that little bit of a hint that. Uh, um, Lot gave us at SOE Live last year when I asked that question about you know us being able to bring our own tunes in there with legendary tunes, and Yen's Yen's immediate response was no, and Lock was like maybe eventually. So, I'm, well, I'm, if it's I'm, awesome, I'm, 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 I'm not you, a lot of people in, are in playing, playing Legends because it gets why you are skill points. Seats attached to it. Then that's my that's the whole idea of Legends PvE I thought was going to be an event and I thought we'd have feats just similar to like every single map, those kind of feats. So that it was an option. Like you could do them, you couldn't do them, it wasn't that big of a deal. But then to attach grindy feats on top of that that are just so yeah, astronomical like, that it's like, what the hell? That's the reason people are like, running it. Because what? it's getting them skill points, which ironically we're talking about what would make skill points more desirable but people like us are running legends pve because we want more skill points that's the reason it's on a on a graph popular i don't yeah i i don't run it for fun because i just don't enjoy legends i it, it's i play the fair. game for my own too not for to play as batman like i i don't uh, I play completely, I, I, I'm, I'm with you on that but, i mean i I didn't really take. I didn't really play Legends seriously until those were the only PvP feats I had left to get. Right. You know, I just. And, it's frustrating because I thought it was supposed to be an event, uh, extra activity, you know, that you could always do, not something that. I mean, I guess I don't have to do I, it, I, but you know, being I, somebody I that likes to get all the feats, uh, you kind of have to, and it's just not fun. Like, I have I'm zero not, fun. <laughs> I, compl I completely, I completely agree with you. I mean, running, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, as a, uh, uh, you know, um, was a, as a uh, Legend of the Archer inspired tune, twenty five times just to get ten points. That's no, that's not fun at all. Especially when your only options are Green Arrow and uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke, which I mean, are you know decent, you know, Legends tunes, but at the same time, you've got other, uh, you know, like you know, Legends of Meta. <laughs> Where you know your only options, I mean, only your only good option in that really is Supergirl, and uh, it's just you know, I mean, it's uh, like I, I would much Lex? rather. Well, yeah, Lex, yeah. Lex is actually Lex. really good. Yeah. Any Pam Lester uh, character is really good. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's like uh, you know, then you have to worry about other feats too, and all that. Running so many times. But are you gonna? Are you gonna run female. that seven hundred and fifty times? It. For one I've, category? <laughs> over time. <laughs> like, it's an overtime. Yeah, I mean, over time, tracks, yeah. There's one, there's, okay. There's a difference between overtime and this. You could run it literally every single day and still not even be close to halfway done with the feats. Yeah. This, like, someone that's my problem. Math, <laughs> it was supposed that's, to take, like, that's, 10 that's, years that's, or something. That's what that's, I'm saying. That's, like, I know. That, I mean... I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm, sa I'm saying the excessive amount of times you have to run Legends as a as the fucking Green Arrow, all right, 25 times just to get 10 points, that's excessive. <laughs> I get the long haul, but most of the, like, feats that we have for maps or, like, duos go to 500, and that's for just duos, you know, 500 duos. What's this is... Right, but this is 750 for each category. There's 11 categories, Okay. That's a lot of feeds. <laughs> I get that, but like, these tears oh. bring me strength. <laughs> yeah, because so you're not the one playing it. Exactly, you're not the one getting these feeds. Like, my God, I swear to God, if I sat here and grinded these, I'd stop playing. I wouldn't play anymore. I just would not play because mm -hmm. it's not fun. It's like not fun to do that. Wait. When I grind, when I was working on my or, or uh, what's it called? Um, alerts feed. That actually was fun because we ran alerts every single day, you know? Like, I ran alert the alerts are fun. Exactly. And I played my own character. <laughs> like, and, and, I didn't. There was more than one alert to run in a day. Exactly. It's just, I don't. If Maybe if these were duos or even solos, I probably wouldn't have an issue with it. But 
having to run with four or three other people and just the length, like, I, I, just, I don't know. It's not fun. Like, it's just not fun. <laughs> I look at the Legends PvE, and, and I run it I run it once a day. I, I I at least try and get in there at least once a day to, to do it, to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, Meps. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But I, and I and I look at the feats and I maybe it's because I refuse to do the math and I just go with the flow. Those are feats that and like Mep said, they're for the long haul. Do I ever expect to see them completed sooner or later? But that would be different sooner or later. later. Or I don't feet. know about sooner or later maps <laughs> or tracks. <laughs> It, that would be is. different if there were like four feed tracks. There are it's eleven just like categories. Running it a thousand okay. times as a a blah blah, but there's like several categories for that. That's like ten right. years. Are you? Do you see yourself playing this game in like maybe ten years? Yeah, I was gonna say. I, if someone asked me that back in two thousand five, so I'm gonna be playing WoW. Ten years later, I'm like, yeah, I'm still playing it. <laughs> I mean, but will you be comfortable with playing Legends PVE? Ten years from now, and having it not change very much. Why would I have it changed? It's just Legends characters with new Legends characters, new instances over time. We can even replay the old stuff. It's it's a, it's recycled stuff, and at the same time, it is optional. Now, for Brittany, who is a feat junkie, it, it it hurts her soul. I know it does, and I know she wants it completed as fast as possible, and at the same time, because she's also not enjoying it either. But, it's... I, I got nothing for it. I, I am perfectly okay with everything there, and I I, I guess I don't stress myself out over it. I, I just don't. I don't, I, I don't run it. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, for, here, here's a good example of a feat that's supposed to be for the long haul. 25,000 gathers for exobits. That takes a long time, but it's n it's not as bad as this. Yeah, but the difference between that is you literally can run around all day and pick up stuff that you don't have to queue. You don't get twenty five thousand. You don't have to do any of that. You can just walk down the freaking street in Gotham and pick up probably fifty, sixty bits just doing that. Like, I mean, I got that feat in the first five months that uh, R and D was out. Like, yeah, and see that I won't do. I don't. I won't. But I won't that's a that. different type of feat, though, because it's. I don't know. That's just different. Like these, that feat is achievable. It. There you go. That, there you <laughs> in go. That's a relative what, amount of time. I was looking for. <laughs> that these feat feats is are just ridiculous, <laughs> and you can say, "Oh, well, somebody already completed them." Yes, because they were running Legends PVE day and night, every single day, literally doing nothing else. I know some of the guys that are doing this, and. I, that's not fun. That's I can. Uh, that's just not fun. And so, I like feats that are somewhat achievable, especially that's grindy good, feats. And person was out. <laughs> yeah, it's. Just, I don't know. It's just. Ugh, I, I don't. I don't like it. And especially because it's legends. Because I just don't like legends. I. I want to play with my own character. So. I think it would have been cooler, if they had it where like. It was like an operation, and you could see the Legends tunes like running around as you as a, another tune. That'd be neat. <laughs> like if you did um, like Black Dawn or Seeds of Rot as the Legends tunes, and then you would have a new player seeing like Batman over in the corner fighting with Nightwing. He'd be like, "Oh man." <laughs> I just feel like these feats are eventually going to get adjusted, which is also part of the reason why I'm not, like, killing myself to run them or to get them. And because it's, what, like, three skill points that I'm missing, which really doesn't make a big difference. And in the grand scheme of things, even if you have all the skill points, it doesn't mean you're a good player. So, uh, I'm not going to lose sleep at night over it. Now, once they add styles to achievements... That's when you're gonna lose sleep. <laughs> when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those titles and styles that'll be something. I feel like it'd be coming. Has someone? Well, if there were better yeah, rewards but... for it too, if there were better I've rewards already... for it too, then lair items and just Marks of Legends. Yeah. 
And I've already got all the villain styles, so I could technically just purchase all the hero and villain styles. I have two tunes with all the styles on both sides, so. Because she's boss. <laughs> that wouldn't matter to me. I'd buy them all, so sucks for you guys who don't have villains. <laughs> <laughs> and vice versa. I, well, I have a villain tune, and Vagrant is definitely a villain tune. It's just whether or not there's people to play with on villain side on PC. <laughs> please come out. Please come cross play. We need you. Brittany yep. needs to let me know when she gets on her villain so I can get on mine and she can get me geared up so I can tank for her. Oh, so the other day. Yesterday, we were, actually ran a full league run of. Uh... Yeah, you, you need to let me know. What, you missed the part where you need to let me know when you're on your villain so you can hey, get me up. We'll just... Wait, 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 wait. Here was a question that I just thought of. If when Legends or when PVE cross. Or, Cross faction PVE comes out, and then cross play eventually comes out. Am I gonna be able to say, just like group with soups or something real quick, and then run a duo with him? Even no, though no, it's gonna work totally... the same. It's gonna work the same as uh, cross faction. Be completely PVE. random. Aw. Yeah. yeah. Now I wonder if we will be, we'll be able to invite them into the instance though. No. Damn. Yeah. That. Aw. <laughs> I would totally pick. I would totally pick up a pug for a raid just to pick them out and invite Vagrant in. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> down for that. <laughs> like, why'd you bring this villain in? Because he's good, and you guys suck. <laughs> he needs to carry your asses. <laughs> See, wait. Here's the question I have for Maps. Then why did you guys adjust the arenas and legends feats? Yeah, that's did a good you, question. Did they ever? Say that's why a really good. Them? That's a really good question. I mean, yeah, if they're doing different. this for the long haul, then why did they? Why? Yeah. yeah, because 250 <laughs> for each map was not that bad. Like I, yeah. rem I got the 250 bad caves like real quick because Wait, I was running that with. They no, low but they lowered it. Well, they lowered decreased. it to they 50. Lowered it. They lowered them down to 50. Yeah, 50, 50? is the max you need. Not even half. The max 50. you need to get. And then they also changed the the lair battles to where every win. In the match count, yeah, every right, yeah, every every round you won counts towards the match in general. Yeah. I mean, come on, I mean it's PVP. I mean, look at look at you guys. Oh my gosh! Oh, come on. <laughs> but, but, it's, it's, it's for the long haul, man. You're supposed to play it over a long period of time. Are you ever gonna maybe see that feat? Maybe not, especially for you. But hey, <laughs> that's what the game's about. <laughs> hey, I'll be happy if I can get ten straight wins. <laughs> Oh, I got that a long time ago. If I can get two <laughs> straight wins, it's like, pff, I beat the game. I'm done. See, <laughs> these guys don't know about the struggle. <laughs> yeah. They don't. We're, Homage and I, I were know, talking right? about that a while ago with somebody. And I don't, I don't <laughs> Outback and Star Labs wins because it's hard to get those to pop. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I remember, so, yeah. I remember grinding out my final, my final map feat was freaking Legends Two v Two Bat Cave, and I remember getting to the point where me and the guy that we were grinding, I was grinding him out with because we were really close. We decided we were just going to cheese it up. He flew up in the air as Joker with dual pistols, and I was I queued in with Bane, and we just did it like that against Pugs until you know, until we got him. Because I mean, that's that's we were. We were wanting to get that 250. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, don't under, I, I still don't understand the whole, you know, let's drop them down to 50 now. Uh, Mev's here in chat. We're deviously providing long-term goals that require you to play for more than the next instant. I don't know. Like, I could understand doing, having the feats, like, the max feat, or max number be, like, 500 for, like, male, female, hero, villain, you know, and then 1,000 for, like, the overall, and then the, like, specific types be 250. Like, that seems more than acceptable to me, because you could totally reach that within a, you know, ex I guess, acceptable amount of time. It's just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't get it. It's the thing, though. I mean, if you got plus, if you guys are doing it for the long haul, you know, to where you, you guys want us to play for more than just the next instant, then where's our 750 duos and alerts? Calm where's down. You flirts? calm down. Oh, I'm saying. Exactly. 
<laughs> where's, where's the where's the play play a raid a certain amount of times? I, mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know if like no, I don't. I don't like hey, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> raid was a little bit much. But, uh, <laughs> well, I'm talking um, about like play a raid, play like a raid in general. <laughs> But I mean, but you just use all the hate mail. Uh, there'd be a reason to, to play contact then, because you can do contact yeah. in like ten minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Just go into prime. You can do that in what two minutes, two three minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go grind down my five hundred grade speed. Solo S F O S three freaking twenty times a day, and you know you'll be good to go. <laughs> uh, I I will of feats are still acceptable because you would still be doing those like you're yeah. not i mean you could technically knock those out in like a month if you wanted to but well i mean well i mean you honestly if you think about it, if they if they, had, if they had added like 750 duos 750 alerts thousand i mean i'm pretty sure i, I think like, like at least me and Brittany probably would you know i've already have our 750 done for those two yeah, I mean, because i still run duos and alerts yeah. and all that stuff. like <laughs> i still like, run that stuff it's not like I run that regardless. Even I, like I still run the freaking Shady Nightclub duo every single day just because I enjoy that duo. Like I don't know why I good, really like oh, it. Like I really good. like that duo. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that. I I will say that. <laughs> Ironically, came with a PVP DLC, one of the I, best duos <laughs> in the game. <laughs> yeah, duo is, like so much fun. Like I love it. I love different bosses. They added like. The only piece of PVE content that came with a PVP DLC best duo in the game. <laughs> it is. I, I love it. So, I will put my hat in for the 750 duos and alerts and all that stuff. And on top of that, I will also request a feat for the fucking operations. Yes, please. For the love of God, it's, it's, about, it's about time. <laughs> I, oh, you talking about the four man ops? You're talking about four man ops, right? You know what? Yeah. No, it's great. It's great. I, I want feats for capital. raids as well. I want the the number of feats because <laughs> I'm I'm serious. Why not? Seriously, why not? At this point, four four and a half years later into the game, we, players are constantly running New Genesis now. They're constantly running uh, Happiness Home. Why not? You guys are already working on this stuff. The Legends PvE, I will give you that. They're long-ass feats. They're optional. You don't really need to do them unless you are already well-equipped with yourself, Brittany. And you just want to just do them for fun and just get them out of the way. Get them out easy. Duos, raids, alerts, operations, boom. Those are being run constantly and constantly. Why not? Why not? Yep. <laughs> not to mention it adds more titles that they can add. Yeah. And I'm sure, like like I said, I'm sure they're going to add more stuff to, to feats as well. Like I said, maybe a style when you get for, for doing Epic Odyssey. That'd be cool, too. Things like that is just going to add more incentive to do achievements. That's, what, that's exactly what titles are supposed to do. It's adding more incentive to go back and get some of those feats. Yep. That's right. So, uh, and uh, that's that's where I'm putting my hat in. Uh, haha. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. You guys are the best. Yeah, and if you say operation, <laughs> can it please just be overall operation? I don't want a separate four and eight man one. Yeah. Thank no, you. no, it has to be. The, <laughs> please. The, the, the coding you. for the game has to have it that way. It, it's, it's already bad enough that when I scroll down in four player, it jumps from just alert to, to operation and they're separated yeah. for some <laughs> yeah, it was confusing while going through my CR relevancy graph, trying to make like scroll through down. I I think we can. I know the alerts and operations are of course different, and it's an it's alphabetical kind of, order for that yeah. for, op, for alerts and then operations. Understandable. I think we need to go ahead and make those into like just separate them as a tier, even though we don't believe in tiers anymore. But it still needs to kind of you know be be in those tiers. Because it does get confusing where you, you have to scroll down to see the operations. And unless you don't scroll down, you don't know that it's there. You just don't. Yeah. That and then a new player is not going to really understand what an operation is. Not to mention the fact that if they increase the amount of alerts and feats and all that to get uh, more feats and everything uh, for, you know, duos and everything. You have people queuing up for older content. You know, uh, you know, especially now that they have more of an incentive to go back and do that with, uh, you know, this new... Uh, 
you know, our relevancy uh, reward system. Yeah. Especially if, since going forward, most most things are going to be operations, since I would imagine those are most likely easier to make. Someone it, time it, Smurf. It, time him out right now. He, no, no, yeah, no, Smurf, no. you need, uh, yeah, Smurf, have, have, a, good, have a good life, Smurf. <laughs> no, sir. Have a good life, Smurf. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone would ever, ever enjoy that. Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> not to, we're, we're not. We're not. Uh, it's not. Not that the DCO Sourcecast is opposed to listening to ever the people's opinions, just so long as there's some form of intelligence behind them. All right. <laughs> and since we're on the subject of adding more things in the game, where's loyalty rewards? I'd like to see something for me subscribing for like three years straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know they're trying to bring back the. The um, the recruit rewards. System. Yeah, yeah I know they're see that's that that's that's a good thing to have uh, for any MMO, in my opinion, though. Yeah. Are we getting another belt? Another OP belt? Maybe. I'm no, not I think really we get it on gas this time. Actually, I think we're actually going to make it to where it, 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 the rewards make more sense. <laughs> this well, I think it makes sense. I just want it on PlayStation. <laughs>